All right, everyone, welcome. We're playing Open TTD multiplayer. Hello, we're back. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Place Japan, where we will be playing our classic transportation trains, boats, trucks game today on a Japanese map where some person in the chat said the map looks tiny. Well, it does look tiny when I edit it into a, a, a thumbnail, but it's actually 4080 by 4080, the maximum size for an open TTD map, actually. I'll have you know, so it's actually massive. Okay, deal with it. Hello, everyone. Interesting, we're taking a bit of a, a weeby theme today, I suppose, a uh, Japanese theme. You're going to notice that when we actually open up the game and we look at the manager face creator it's actually an, a, a manga style of managers which is interesting <laughs> so i'm looking forward to this one it's going to be good we've got people who are trickling into the game we're going to start soon maybe about five minutes all right and i'm looking forward to it another great game of open ttd for your evening's entertainment for the next three or four hours i'm putting the shogun 2 total war soundtrack in the background because why not Seems pretty appropriate. And we're going to have some fun. Right. So, of course, this is a... I'm going to answer super chats and everything. I think I've got the alert sounds on. We have one in here now. I will be able to talk to chat during a, a stream like this rather than the tense Victoria 2 streams. I have to announce that the Victoria 2 Scandinavia campaign tomorrow is postponed because many players cannot make it for Easter. There may be a World War I mod Vic2 session instead, multiplayer. Okay, so that's the status for tomorrow. Keep that in mind. Sunday, which will be the 31st, Easter. But in the meantime, we've got Open TTD. So, Shorsh, thank you for your super chat, 5 euros. And Friendly Merchant, thank you for 140 uh, Rand. Thanks, guys. I don't know what your your German one means. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to read it out in case it's something bad. I don't know. It might not be bad. It's got Jesus in it, but I don't, I don't know what you're saying about him. It could just be a nice Easter message from you there. I don't know. Sengoku OST. If this... Okay, it, he says, Jesus says to his disciples, if you don't have cutlery, you're using your fingers. Very great words of wisdom. Nat steak for two Canadian dollars. Thank you. Where would one go to do World War One Vic if it happens? Well, the same place that this, the Sunday campaign has been happening. I don't like to advertise the specific games I'm into people on stream because I don't want I don't want that kind of crossover generally. I don't want people like I, you know what I mean? I like to keep it kind of separate although it's right there. Plus this World War 1 game is probably just going to be the remnants of the Sunday campaign anyway, the people playing it. So it's not like uh, you, you know what? I, never mind. Thanks for the super chats though. And let me just turn the background off. So that you can see. Let's get the, the chat. The chat can go there. You can see all those super chats. You see, the thing about this YouTube chat widget, I don't know if people can actually read the chat. The, the main reason that I have the chat there on the screen is for the VODs, because when I'm actually streaming live on the main channel, you can see the chat in its own chat window. It's kind of pointless. But then on the VOD, you have to, it's nice to be able to see the chat, but I don't know if it's big enough. And then if I make it bigger, it takes up too much of the screen. So I guess VOD commenters are my, open, my last open TTD VOD got no comments, so I, I guess everyone was absolutely fine with everything. But VOD people, if you are there, let me know about that. So I'll see if I can fine-tune the chat. But for this stream, it's just going to stay there at that size. Right, anyway, you want to see the map for this scenario? Uh, and you can see the bloody anime people. Uh, right. I'm going to go on Discord. Oh, Rogo. Rogo, thank you so much for the 10 Juorti. Another message that I cannot understand. Interesting that the Polish guy also could speak German. Mm, curious how you understood the German message. I Okay, I get it, Natstick. I get it. If you want to play, you can figure out where to go. What Damio are you starting as? Maybe I'll start as the Obama. Who knows? That's the only name I know from a Shogun thing. Where would one go to do WW1 right. Vic if it happens? Okay, I hello. am going to be... Hello. 
Hello. So, these are the people who've turned up so far. Where's everyone else? Match nego joy mm, probably away on Easter. Well, then they would have told me they can't make the game and I would have removed their role. Absolutely barbaric. Let me see who else. It's either just Pychuck or maybe someone else. Oh, there was a guy, Ibar, who specifically asked me once to join the Open TTD session. So I ping him and I go, hey, you want to join? I give him the role. Absolutely nothing from him. So fucking brilliant. Um, now we've got the members. The way um, the I almost will... couldn't make it because I had to deal with a, uh, a yow with rotten lambs. Lovely. I mean, fun. Okay, it should Jeez. just be Pie Chucker and that Ibar guy if he would show up. I don't know. I don't know if you know this, but you can just buy lamb from the supermarket. You don't need to actually farm them. That's an evil shit. But anyway, hello guys. Hello to all of you. Hello. Hello. Shalom. Well, so, hello Lawrence. I'll do, I'll do them one at a time. What company are you going for, Lawrence? Hello. Um. So, my, as Douglas MacArthur, I've been charged to be the, in charge of the Allied Occupational Government of Japan. And so our first priority is extracting all the war reparations to be sent to USA. Fantastic. Um, Spec Ops, Japan Heavy Rail. Yeah, uh, we do heavy rail. Great. Not the Yakuza, Zanmos. Tell us about that one. Uh, we do very legitimate business. <laughs> Got the Yakuza going on. See, there's lots of different themes people could go for. I mean, people who are into uh, into their anime probably have better ideas for companies. I don't know what to do, really. Yeah, but anime's uh, banned. Uh, well, not on, not here. You know, only on the Discord. Generally. This is fine. This, uh, okay. By the way, you know, this art style for the company managers, it doesn't look like your typical anime shit that I would ban anyway. It looks like just a more generic. 80s anime. 80s, I guess, yeah. Uh, which is appropriate, sort of, because we are in like 1970, is it? Oh, Sailor, oh God, Sailor Moon, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, Midnight, what have you got? Hello, how are you doing? I'm good. I, I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm just going to fuck off to Hokkaido and do my own thing. I was going to go to Hokkaido. Well, we can share it. It's pretty big. Yeah. Is there a nuke option? <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering. I might have named, I might have gone for, I might have named my CEO Oppenheimer. I don't know. Big Wappenheimer in charge of the burger. J. Robert Oppenheimer. Uh, so uh, we'll keep it paused for a little while to let give Pychucker time to show up if he's going to show up. And the Abbey. There we go. That's my US dollars there. Not this filth of British pounds. Oh, Spud Gun, don't don't use your admin to see what was my company's password to join. Okay. Well, I can't I can't really look at that anyway, can I? You can, as if you the since you're the host. Well, thanks for letting me know. Yeah, it's, it's something that uh, got you banned on Twitch. Why are you doing this? What does Oppenheimer look like? Let's see. What is this? What's this? Also, here? Not Montgomery. He's got to have a sort of very serious look. Uh, can you even change the mouth of the characters? You can with lips. Lips? I can't see that option. Uh, is it advanced you have to click? Oh, well, obviously I've clicked advanced, yeah. Hello. Chin, no. Select European. Uh huh. Hmm. I will right, we'll just go with that. Thank you, Emperor Malgus, for gifting a sub or a membership or whatever they're called. Thank you so much. Are you guys planning on trolling each other with earthquakes? No. Probably not. Nah. It's the fifth one from the bottom. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. I can't. What the fuck? Perhaps to expand the window? I can't do that. Oh, uh, can't. Ish. 
Maybe, yeah, it's actually, you have to set it to have moustache, then it allows you. That actually does it. Oh. I don't want glasses. There you go. He's a sad, just a sad looking man. That's Oppenheimer. What's his hair? Something like uh, that. Where the fuck is Pie Chucker? What a disappointment. Uh, company name. Hmm. Batman Bar and Grills. Right. It's so, it sort of sounds like a name of a pub. So I'm I'm going to be doing passengers. So they're going to be going. There's going to be a chain of pubs called the Fat Man. And we need Pie Chucker. He should be here. Who, who else is going to make the banter happen? It is pretty early in New Zealand right now. So. But he yeah. specifically, it, I mean, that is what it is, but he specifically said he would play, so. Maybe he forgot. That's why I did pings. He's probably asleep. Yep. He needs to set up an open TTD alarm for 7 p.m. or 7 a.m. No. For 6.30. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm only here because I woke up and had a nightmare. So. Yeah, your your nightmare was you were playing League of Legends. Ew! No, I was being what? What's your rank? I don't play ranked. It's oh, called fair having enough. fun. <laughs> that's actually fair enough. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Actually, that's actually the best answer. To be honest. Well, I'm going to unpause in a moment, but my goal, my transportation, I'm going to go for passengers. And my idea, and by the way, this is a mod with this quite complicated industry, but not the overly complicated cars. I'm going to build a transport passenger network, but my goal is going to be to go for all the way from the south of the southern island, all the way up, as far as I can go. East coast yeah. or west coast? Centre, more or less. Mm -hmm. So, without further ado, I'm going to set my currency. I mean, it's very nice to have yen for the LARP, but I don't understand the massive numbers of yen, so I'm going to change it to dollars for myself. Uh... As is the currency of the occupation of Japan. Wait, how do I change to dollars again? Which is the specific yeah, it's setting? It's in the COG uh, game options. And then it's in the list. currency unit. Cog game options, general currency. Because we're occupied, basically. We're occupied by Lawrence's allied occupation government anyway, so. It's 19 Yeah, I'm gonna rob them. Look, let's face it, they've been occupied since the end of the war. There's still American bases there, aren't there? Yep. Exactly. There's American bases in the UK. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and you... My point still stands. And they stopped writing UK as a, the third superpower after 1950s. Worst timeline. So I'm going to be. Uh, well, I'm on pausing. Go ahead, everyone. Enjoy. Have fun. Have yourselves a blast. Mm. So, yeah, welcome to everyone in the chat. I'm going to start with hotels because we're going to be doing a passenger oriented thing. And I'm going to try to make a line all the way up the, to the north, and I'm going to start down here. On the southernmost city of Kagoshima, right here. I'll start by making a, a station around here, although it's kind of hard to do it. I might actually start it at this hotel, just to make it easier. But we've got access to 1970 technology, by the way, so we're going to get bullet trains. Um, we're definitely going to get bullet trains in this build. So we're starting in 1970, so we're going to get some fast shit on the go. 
Also, we have Japanese style train stations, I think, in the, in the building options. So it's possible to make some nice creative sort of things. But I'm not doing that for my first one because I, I need to get some like something built before I do anything fancy. Will I financially recover from this? Yes, I will. Fun fact, Japanese chains are privately owned and not state operated. Thanks for that fact. It's interesting. I didn't know that they were or weren't, but now I know. I remember exactly how to do this properly. Yeah. What? Why do my railways suddenly look different? What? What do you mean? It comes with a scenario. I mean, I started building them. I started building my railways and they looked normal. Then I deleted some and built more and they look weird and different again. Is it just because of the terrain the ground's been Maybe. built on? Probably. I thought it was just the um, scenario with those texture packs added. I think it's due to the ground. Train depots connected to a station instead of the middle of nowhere with a triangle entrance. Cringe. This is the way. This is the best way to do it. Trust me. Well, that's our first stop. The, the next stop should be up a hill at Isa, but that's difficult to get to. But it's, yeah, I have to do that one. This also, this all immediately raises some challenges because we have to go up a very big hill. We have to have a powerful train for my first one. And we should come up, up here and then over, like up here. Hello Pinsk, welcome to you and everyone. The textures are due to multiple track pieces in a single tile. Yeah. It's weird because it looks completely different from everything else. Right. It looks like something was different, I don't know. Maybe and there's no point building a tunnel through that because it's gonna be we're gonna have to go up anyway. Um Oh, this is a very awkward build. Song name? I, I said at the start, it's the Shogun 2 Total War soundtrack. Somehow we have to get there. Hmm complicated stuff and I'm going to build it so that it's on a separate route you'll, you'll see I need to take my time with this because it's complicated though hmm. there's a, with some logs there should be a huge um, loan amount so it should be pretty good for money might need that I'm about to build through a fucking farm maybe you better not I didn't expect this from the uh, Shogun to be Total War soundtrack. This sounds weird. What is this? It's called Bird of Time. Hmm.
God, look at this build. The trains are going to have a hard time on this, that's for sure. There's the hotel. Hmm. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'll branch off to get to that one, but the main line will go through to the coast. With a tunnel. Expensive tunnel, but necessary. And then where's the next one? Up here at Kamamoto. Now, I'm going to have to do a strange thing here. I need to do a kind of... Hmm, I'll figure it out. I need to do a different build here. I need to expand my horizons beyond the, the typical stuff I do. I need to build a kind of station that is a... Can, it's a, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but it's sort of going to have to be a complicated signal thing here to get to a station that I build, if it makes any sense. Might look into it. Wholesome Libel 1998, can you be quiet and stop suggesting and backseating the stream, please? Thank you. Even if you're being lighthearted. Come on. I'm so hyped for the video of this stream. Who's to say there's going to be a video of this stream? Pychucker didn't show up, so there's basically no banter or chat going on or anything. So it's probably not going to be a video. It's just going to be me and you chat. Yeah. What? Money. There's infinite loans to take, almost, right? Will this make money, or will I go bankrupt? 60,000, hell yeah. Like the Yakuza's expanding boys. Back seating time? Oh no. The nearest hotel is actually here at Omuta. No, actually no, there's one here at Tanama. That one will be easier to do, I think. Tanama or Kikuchi, either one of them. And we're building through farmland, which is very expensive. Isn't this the Grand Colombian bit of Japan? So true. Well pointed out. And it's 1970, so yeah, the occupation probably still happening. Right, now we can do something here. The line can branch off here a bit. left can go here, this one can come here. Now that would have to do, that would have to do a 90 degree turn. Uh, go there. 
Well, I'll think about this. Left turn. Right turn. I'll fix that if it needs fixed. I need to actually get a, a thing built here. I need to get something built. Something on the ground. With my loans. So that I can actually start making money. Because I'm going vastly into debt here. On this build. You know what? I prefer that position. Because I can make the station right next to the town. So we got Ta Tamama as the second base of operations here. that is right it better be right i can start now i've got a connection one train for now i do need to make my signals and then we're good to go A to B chards, where are they? Well, we'll see them. It's a shame Pie Chucker didn't show up. There's no one to really speak to. All right. What are the train options today? I'm not seeing any Japanese ones. What the fuck is this? Uh, uh, I don't know if they're already. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah. The JNRF, JN, JNREF. That's it. Japanese don't have any rail. In real life, please don't know what trains are. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but all those trains you see on the website are German trains. The fake trains. Fastest Japanese one here is sixty-nine miles an hour. That's slow as nice. fuck. Uh... Oh, an unlocked U.S. train. Yeah, I thought these late-game trains would be fast. But these aren't. This is not late game. 1970, come on, it's later than we've ever played, that's what I mean. Oh, uh, yeah. The bullet train was disappointed. The There's 80s. a French one. Right. SNCF, 150 miles an hour, decent power. Uh, 100k. I'm going to go for that one. Let's, shall I group the trains? Uh, I'll, I'll just name it after what it will do. Lumber mill down here? And where wasn't that dumb lumber mill? No, not that one. This one immediately did the wrong order. It started on order number two. So it's already a little bit fucked. But it's fine because the uh no, it's not fine. I need to. Yeah, it's already fucked up because uh, 
I created two orders and then the train actually started on order two instead of waiting or just doing order one. So you need to start at Kagoshima and go there. So it'll take some time to fill up with passengers. Isn't that tomorrow? East is whenever you think it is at this point. It's the weekend. It's Easter. It's Good Friday. How's everyone's Good Friday? I had a oh, calf lovely. born on the that farm. It was Monday. yesterday. A calf. Calf. Baby cow. Are you a farmer? Yes. Oh, okay. Are you just, uh, what's it, a uh, live cow farmer? Uh, arable is arable. not what I do. Then what do you, I suppose you don't want to get in details of farming. Well, I didn't say that, I'm just saying that uh, arable is not what I do. It's okay. uh, mostly livestock. Speaking of which, buy British meat, don't buy Australian. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, just buy British instead. Uh, but you could buy New Zealand? Just you saying. could, but uh, New Zealand's actually getting out of uh, lamb for the most part. They're having a, basically a milk bubble. It's kind of interesting. Oh, I, I know, I'm here. All the farmers are just going uh, milk, 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 milk. We can't have lamb shakes, can you? But you can have milkshakes. Just sheep, think about that. Sheep can make milk too, you pillock. Uh, cows make milk, thank you very much. I'd burst your bubble, this, but uh, this a lot of things doesn't make milk. This and thing. goats make silk. Wait, what makes silk? Goats. Didn't you know? Funny how these trains take days to fully load. Well, doing it the way I'm doing it might not be the best. Because I've set them to fully load. Where it might not be necessary and it's not realistic. But I'm doing it because it's the maximum amount of money. First one first one has already moved away here, which is nice. Is that coffee that's shit out by monkeys anyway? This one's going up to about 100 miles an hour, which is perfect. Maybe it's a cultural thing. It's reached the maximum speed allowed by the mail carts, which what is 125. Like cows, but, uh, okay. It did not fully load mail, which is interesting. They must have been really starving to have eaten monkey poop. You gotta try it's a bit like that crazy. Sorry. Oh, continue. It's like that craze I saw with uh, the they tried to revive it in China, where uh, it's like spiced rocks from the river. People like eating oh, rocks. Yeah. Well, it's less about the rock and more about the spice. They would just suckle on it. The origin of yeah. that is during uh, the Mao era. Well, they just had no food at all because, you know, communism. But uh, they, they said, oh yeah, you can get trace nutrients out of, you know, seasoning rocks and sucking the sort of juice out of them from the river. Problem is, everyone did that and then there was, you know, whatever trace nutrients weren't there anymore. <laughs> oh, it transferred for absolutely no reason. Nice. Uh, why would it transfer when I didn't set it to transfer? Any ideas? It knows better than you. I always thought it was like damage it did to uh, around yeah. the surrounding area. And then once you pay it off, then you make money. It made me money, but it transferred. 
which is weird. Did he set it to transfer? Yeah. Oh, that's what I did. Yeah, I set it to transfer. Yeah. There no. you go. I don't know. <laughs> This train's working, it's going the right way. They seem to be working, but it's weird that it transferred when I didn't set it to transfer. Now let's see if I can make a weird little station here. Uh... Oh my goodness, I'm such an idiot. I was collecting engineering supplies for my farms. I'm going to take that. They take our cultural supply. Sorry? They don't take engineering supplies, do they? They don't, that's why I'm an idiot. Ooh, not good. That's anyway, fine. The, the Yakuza will uh, take away that. Uh... Take away That's those fine. unnecessary supplies and uh, hide them in your house for some reason. For money, obviously. It's fine, we will be sending them to a... our diamonds mine. Is connection here necessary? If it comes out, that's a bit up track. If it comes in here, I don't think that one's necessary anyway. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think the best place would be there. No, that wouldn't work. I haven't done anything different or fancy there to make this station. It's just basically the same system I would use for everything. I don't really feel like risking going into weird types of signals. I'm just not good at it. Oil is interesting. Um, what you do to block get signals. Is you gotta go to the um. I don't know where are they? The um. The food Liquid. processing plants. Anyway, now that these places are getting full of stuff, I'm not going to set them to full load. Should be enough. Terminal, if you want. Yeah, that is this petroleum station or something. Need the petroleum. Yeah, I have a couple of profitable trains going up now, even though I have a lot of loans. I'm going to let these build, make me some profit for a while and then expand. Like this will make some money. $166,000. I think it's transferring the mail. It's only part of it that gets transferred. Most of it does actually deliver. It's going to go off now without fully loading, because it's had time. I'm just kind of banking on uh, two trains at the moment, setting up a bunch of infrastructure. Back up, can you use a push to talk there or something, please? Sorry. I currently have to expand, because at this rate I'm going to go bankrupt. Go big or go home. Mm-hmm. American dream. <laughs> what if you just borrow more money? 
I should be able to. I should be able to uh, wring money out of the British. Okay, let's look at your build, Lawrence. So you're blue, the Allied occupation. Mm -hmm. Where have you set up? No, I found you. I found you at the rubber plantation. Yes. We have to extract, uh, we have to put the Japanese to labor to pay for the damage to the American people. Are you stealing rubber to make Cadillacs tires? No, war reparations. There's no stealing. They so walk me through your build. So currently, my whole uh, thing is, as you see, the USA Treaty Port. It accepts diamonds, coffee, and rubber, uh -huh. and it produces engineering supplies and farm supplies. So my right. plan is just to be connect all of the rubber, diamonds, coffee, rubber plants. And they will all be supplied by this USA, USA tree port. That's, That's interesting. Idea. You mean you're you're producing? Oh, nice planes being event. You're taking all of the diamonds, coffee, and rubber to that treaty port to drop it off and send it to America. Yes. Nice. If I were to experiment with a timetable, with two, just with two trains, just so they both are at the opposite stations at the same time, maybe. How complicated I, are timetables? I didn't tell you, don't you? There should be an automatic way to program it, but I don't know how. Midwit Productions, simple as OWT. Do you mean simple as out? It's like the British thing, or does OWT stand for something? Just need to give the train shared orders and then press the automate button. Okay. What's the best way to do shared orders? Is it to put them in a group of trains? Hmm. Oh, I have to signal everything. Uh, signal mail moment. I'm bad at this stuff. I just kind of like randomly place them everywhere and hope to God everything works. For example, here's a group, right? Chicago Shima Tanama Express. So two trains that go back and forth between these two cities. Probably give a crap about these train signals. Uh, the bottom left button, manage order. You don't have to worry about signals if you don't, you know, use multiple lanes. Bottom right. Yeah, but I think A to B is cringe. It's uh, pretty yeah, it obvious. Yeah, it is. It is, yeah. Give a man a train and he shall crash it into another. Give a man train signals and she, he shall make billions. And then crash his train somehow. Well, I've set these two to having shared orders now, right? Uh, timetable. Now, they're already on auto-separation. I think that is probably the right thing for them, right? Auto-separation. So as long as they're on shared orders and they're in a group, it'll automate this. Midwit. Well, time to make some money. Oh, 
Hello? Is that how does this work? Have any of you guys played EU4 Mayor and Taxes? No. Never played EU4. Just checking if my YouTube chat had glitched. No, it didn't. Um... They have a quite an interesting system for one to uh, modernize a state. So, well, in the absence of Midwick giving me the advice here, it, it, it doesn't look like these trains are automatically waiting. Neither of them actually wait in the station, so this op this automated separation thing doesn't seem to do anything. I'm in the dark though. None of the people in the game with me can help me on timetables, and the one person in the chat who could is gone. You just um, take land away from them, and you try and form a bu bureaucratic state, and then you have a national army, but you will be severely weakened in the beginning. I start the old good old Google. I can't be bothered tabbing out and doing something. Automate would manage the timetables automatically by updating the values for each journey. So it basically says manage it automatically after doing something yourself that isn't automatic. Is what it's telling me there. Where the fuck did Midway Productions go? Seriously. Like he gives me half the advice and then leaves. Uh, well, Surely. in Russia, they will have to, because in order to have a national army, you're going to have to give the serfs freedom so they can volunteer to join. That's me debt-free now, by the way. Want to do a reform to have a national army. Just press automate, okay? That's all I really needed to know. So if I go on both of them, go to timetable. Automate. So do you have to have automate and auto separation on at the same time? I did them both because I've shared orders. So, right, in my opinion, in order to have proper separation, this train here should wait a little bit before, until the other one gets to the other station, right? This train should wait here instead of instantly departing if automatic separation was working as stated. That would make complete sense. In order to give it time for separation, it should have waited there for the other train to get to its destination and pick up so that they were maximum separated, right? if that works, but that doesn't appear to be working as common sense would have it, right? So yeah, I'll wait for the next message of help from the chat before I do anything with that. Let's build some bus stops. And this local authority refuses to allow it. Fucking fun. After I've done nothing but help them. Five bus stops, which I think is the most uh, efficient amount. I'm going to have a lot of diamond trains. Because the diamond box car can only carry 10 bags. 
and my diamond mine is producing four and five bags of diamonds. Diamonds are worth, I think, some of the most, at least across. They distance. are worth a lot. I'll, I'll see how much this will get me. Looking for an urban bus here, because it makes the most sense, obviously. Rather than intercity. Urban bus? No, I didn't mean to buy that. What's that? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I guess I'm not looking for speed. The Leyland Panther, urban bus, there you go. Sounds good. If I just send buses out with no particular order, will they do stuff and pick up passengers? Yes, yeah. they'll do that automatically. Oh, I didn't know that. Because it seems, you know, I what I would really like for my buses is to just go around without an order. Because when I set them to have orders, they sort of follow. As long other. as you order them to yeah. a stop, they'll just do it automatically regardless of anything. What do you mean, if you order them to a stop? If you click on the go to this stop and then... You know, you don't give them an order, then they'll just go to that stop, pick up and drop off however many's there, and how many they have, and then just carry on. How do I make it so that the buses are basically random, and they're going everywhere, and there's you a decent separation? You can't do it random, I don't okay. think. I think I should probably... If I put them all in a group and share their orders, they might have good separation. Uh... Automate works with buses too, but if you have too many buses and not enough spaces, they'll back up. Well, yeah, I get that. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So this one now has all five of them with no particular order. The separation thing did not appear to work for trains anyway, so I'll just say, you know, best of luck to these buses. So I think some of these went through without stopping. Yeah, that one took a different route, but I don't know why that is. Hmm, interesting. See, when... Ah, when there's clearly no passengers actually there, they just go through to the next one, it seems. Anyway, I've always failed to grow cities very fast. Uh, I always do the buses wrong somehow, and I, I don't think the advice or what I've done here is going to be any different. Um, I'm also annoyed that the automation of these train things with separation didn't work really. The separation didn't work, at least in the way that I thought it would. I thought it would work to sort of create an efficient gap between the train timetables so they, they just catch the maximum amount of possible passengers, if you know what I mean. But, you know, I'm just rambling away to myself. It makes sense for me, at least, but it doesn't seem to work that way. Now, the question is, where am I going next? Should I go up to this place here and cross the river, cross the sea at the closest point? Or I could go straight through this hill, straight through to Kitsuki and Beppu, and then make a massive bridge and cross here, something like that. What do you think, chat? Hmm, indeed. Hmm.
Mm, people like the Mega Project, yeah. I think it's easier anyway. Now this isn't just a hill that stops somewhere, it goes up, this hill goes up and it stays up almost all the way to the town. So I'm just going to build up. Like I say, we need powerful trains to match this. But I've got enough money now. Two trains are enough to make that much money. There we go, scaling the hill. Massive tunnel then, Bridge. No, I, massive tunnels are a terrible idea because they are one sole single signal block, right? You, you can only have one train in a tunnel at any given time. So that's really bad. <laughs> oh, there's a fucking building here? Fruit plantation? Oh my god. And we're about to come down the hill. Just a massive straight line is all you need. Well, to be fair, it doesn't need to go up that hill so it can stop there. And also in terms of the people playing, uh, Jenny couldn't make it to this stream or this open TTD session, but she told me in advance that she couldn't make it, right? Unlike some people. Ah, this is the perfect place. We can cut around this hill. This is the perfect spot for the bridge. Okay, right. <laughs> Let's see this bridge. Can we... It's, it's a bit big, right? I can't even do it without zooming out a lot. Fucking hell. Now, nah, bridge too long. There's a maximum length. I'm going to have to terraform an island halfway through. The only way is to terraform a sort of island. I need to make an island. Max bridge length is 11 to 13. Alright, this is... So, uh, I get, so, chat, right? All the people in the chat who were saying, oh, do the mega project, do the mega project. Hello? The, the, the bridge can only be made for like a fucking tenth of the size of this length. Fucking, that's annoying. Right, we're going to have to go the other way. And with that, the Yakuza are now debt-free. Time to unleash some terror. Oh dear. We will have to go up north. This whole bit of track might be completely redundant unless... I mean, it could take you around to these hotels here, maybe. You know, I'm al I've am i already made like 500k. I've made two trains, really basic. And that already makes me infinite money. And I already just can't be bothered to build anything else. So I'm kind of bored. How long have we been playing? I already fucking feel that way. Uh... Especially because that mega project wouldn't work. What, are we 20 minutes in? Or about, more like about 50 minutes actually. Uh, just, just being honest with you, chat. Just being honest. Go to Fukuoka, yeah. Well, maybe. Should we go up this hill? Yeah, no, it makes sense to maybe cut off here, go around here. Or, no, it makes more sense to stay... Oh, fuck, I don't know. Hmm. It makes sense to cut around here, but then go down the hill. Uh... No, actually, it makes the most sense to, to cut here. Follow the hill along and then go down it.
Is that the soundtrack already over? No, it's just the YouTube thing breaking, saying continue watching. That always happens. Right, perfect hotel here at Kita Kyushu. Now, I want to try something different and interesting for this station, but I also can't be bothered because I'm bored. Uh, you know, I wanted to make a sort of station that trains could either go round or go through. But I don't know where to start on that, really. Unless someone in the chat can put, uh, sort of talk me through it. For example, if I built a station here... Nice on making train stations. You just run it through. You're listening to my stream? Of course I am. Okay, weird. Um, That's an example. I can make an example of one. Uh, hang on. But do you know how to use signals? Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> an example station uh, by... What's this? Chem chemical plant. Cement plant. I'll have a look. So I want it sort of set up that trains can either go in the station, or round it, or through it. I think path signals will probably just do that for you, automatically. How much space have you got wideness-wise? Wideness? Uh, a lot Wide of space? Wideness. Like that. Where are you? At the top. Uh, top left yellow. Uh, sorry, oh, that's funny. Left. The radiation exclusion zone. Whoever made that. That's good. Uh, just a cheeky little thing I'm doing. I put them all over the map. That's actually... That's actually funny. I'm, it might not sound like I'm laughing, but it is funny. I'm laughing internally. It's, it's not appropriate to laugh out loud at that. Well, I'm looking at your Yakuza area here. Yes. Where's the example of a through train station? Building one at the, the furthest north point, for an example. Farthest north point of the map? Of, of my line. Uh, sort of northeast. Of your line. Okay. Middle of the islandish. Ah, okay. It's really just path signals, isn't it? But but wait, Zenmos, what if a train wanted to come from the other direction? You got that's a one way station. No it isn't. Those are one way signals. Uh, for this one. I'm I'm referring to the uh, the Samboku Valley station. Ah uh, one. Okay. Well that yeah, that's pretty much what I've done. So yeah, it's actually quite simple. Yeah, I get it. I'm currently trying... There's only one trading post that's worth getting it's in the entire north of this island, and it's right over on the east coast. That's why I played my dibs on Umasaki. I'm going for the coffee. Oh, 
Thank you, Doomlord. Thank you so much for the 400 huff. Always appreciate a little bit of huff in my life. Will we have a Scandinavia live stream tomorrow? Nope. Unfortunately not. Yeah. I, yeah, there isn't one. It's off for Easter. And you know what the most demoralizing thing is? No matter how much I announce that with community posts on this stream, Discord, everywhere, there's still going to be people asking me. And I'm just... Ugh, people are always just going to ask. Because... Put out an ironic video for it. What? Put out an ironic video, like an over-the-top edited thing. It's just being like, eh, there is no stream today. Do -do -do -do. Well, no. Because I would have to put that on the... You know, making a very short meme video on the main channel is going to be bad for the algorithm. No, no, no. So... You said you had to put it on your main. Well, if, if it's not on the main, then who's going to see it? Real fans. <laughs> hey, where's Mount Fuji in, here, in uh, Japan, anyway? It's not far from Tokyo, is it? It's around there. Pretty sure it's somewhere near Tokyo. I, th I think you can see it from Tokyo, so... I wouldn't know. I don't, don't really think much about Japan, <laughs> but I know that exists. Well, neither do I really, but I know a few things here and there. Interesting stations here. Happy Easter chat and spud. Thank you there for the super chat. You know, I'm really bored of passengers, so I'm going to move on to making goods uh, of some description. Passengers is really boring. Plus, it's really annoying to set up with timetables and shite. Yeah. There is one way to bypass the entirety of the timetables when it comes to uh, passengers. Well... And there's, there is total gridlock on the blue line. The USA treaty port is just completely bricked up. Yeah, it's because you need to, there needs to be gaps of either, the entire size of the train needs to have a gap between the signals of the equivalent size, okay? I'll just Do you double get the lines. That? Do you get that, mate? Lawrence? Oh, sorry, oh, I thought I was yeah. muted. Um, yes, there's a hold up due to Japanese uh, saboteurs. Uh, they will I take, I resent that. What are you, Japanese? Uh, I, I'm totally legit, but what are you on about? If you clone a train while pressing control, it will share orders with the original trains. Thanks. If I ever need to use that, I will. What have we got here at Kagoshima? There's a glassworks. We could do a glassworks. Um, Signals and tunnels. Can you? No. Uh, that's uh, that's three hundred thousand down the drain, I guess. <laughs> Slightly dumb. Oh well, don't go by fast enough. Maybe I'll build up the Kagoshima Glassworks as something more interesting. Do this and serve trains. No oh, wall. But I'm going to go and get a cup of tea and hopefully I'll come back revitalized and have more motivation to do something cool here. We're going to make some Glassworks. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Back in a sec. And I'm not going to leave the stream unmuted with Zenmos because he's listening and he'll probably say something stupid, so...
I'll mute on there. All right, be right back. Back, hey guys, I'm back. Right, let's see. Turn that off before I forget. Don't want to leave a B right back on the screen for the entire game. So, what to do next? Well, I think it would be nice to build around this glassworks. We've got a manganese mine, sawmill. I've done sawmills and stuff before. You know, on the New Zealand one. Hopefully the uh, hopefully being right back didn't contribute to the viewer drop off that we were obviously experiencing. Do you know one of the most depressing things about streaming on YouTube at least, right? Because what happens is you get X amount of viewers at the start of a stream, but then the graph from viewer count after that is just a constant downward trend. Like it, no new viewers seem to come in or get recommended the stream during the stream which is strange so every almost every youtube stream i've had is just it starts you know it's like a graph going down constantly um and i'm afraid that that's going to happen this time as well especially since it's not been the most fun for me we'll obviously have people going and that's understandable but i'm still going to try and make something interesting out of this and i'm going to well at least some kind of build uh, if anyone has any ideas maybe there's something over at the other end that's interesting there's a Tell you what, a cement plant here. Have the stream out on the second screen. Yeah, cool. Fine. No, I, it's fine. It's fine. You're all here. I appreciate those who are here. I actually think, well, a cement plant, all it produces is building materials, and that's not interesting in itself. 
Um, well, no, maybe. Mega bridge with little islands. What? There are some buildings that take building materials. Aye, uh, there are. Yeah. The builders' yards and bulk terminals, I believe. Yes, I I just looked at them. Do you have any other games you plan to look into stream upcoming? Uh, maybe Prison Architect too. Mega Bridge with Little Island, Island sounds like hell. I might go back and do another stream of Millennia because that game still sort of intrigues me a little bit and uh, I want to experience a late game. I might just start, if I'm going to go back to Millennia, I think I'll start a new campaign rather than continuing my existing one. I might continue my existing one off stream and then start a brand new one uh, with a good start hopefully and do that. Maybe, maybe Monday or Tuesday this week or more Millennia stuff. Um, why for it? Not happening. Uh, what else? What was I going to do in terms of this game? Well, I'm going to probably do the cement plant and try to get all three of those things in. So what I'll do is uh, set up a station for it. Airports. Now, that's airports are actually really boring themselves, to be honest, because they're just easy. To be, to be honest, trains are the only interesting part of this. Because... Anyway, guys, I'm not looking for new games to play or suggestions or recommendations right now. I'm not looking for them. I've got enough on my plate. Oh, something I wanted to say was, just for the record, the saddest thing about this stream, right? We had a really good uh, 3v3 sort of game last week. and But I was thinking, you know, I, I don't do too many open TTD streams because they're not massively popular on the channel and stuff you know i was going to maybe wait a little bit longer but I, f I felt it a little bit and i was like i talked to pie chucker and he was down for it and it was pie chucker being down for it which was the main fucking reason i wanted to do this stream uh pie chucker convinced me to do this one because we were both down for it i don't know zen must tell us how the weather is in england you're the only one there the weather uh, at the moment, it was a clear sky, and it was nice and crisp this morning. Quite frosty, though. And you? And how was it in Scotland? Spot gun? A bit warmer today, actually. Finally moving into spring. It was the first warmish day we've had for... Uh, well, it's been getting warmer gradually, but then it got cold again, but... Uh, uh, we had a bit a, of rain. We had 32 degrees autumn day. So it was a nice time at the beach. How many degrees again in Celsius? Yes, 32 degrees Celsius. Fucking hell. In autumn. And that's just a normal day. Yeah, well, I think it was a bit off because it was technically autumn. But some, I suppose it is one of the, uh, well, these are one of the few hot days we're going to have, and then it's going to be winter soon enough. Also, tea industry would be cool to do. Thank you, Natstick, for the five Canadian dollars. I'm having Yorkshire tea. Uh, black tea. So, tea industry, but I don't think there is tea in this game. So, can't do that. Tea industry would be good if such a thing existed. You got coffee. Coffee. Yes, there's coffee. Um, they they actually worth more, I'd say, than diamonds. Coffee is basically just a it's a basic industry, you know. Farm supplies are an optional thing, and then the coffee just goes to a trading post, a port, food processing plant. Which turns it into food. So currently, my diamonds, uh, rubber, and coffee are all gun ho production. All right, we're building cement, though. That's a Victoria Two thing. Um, so I need. A quarry to make stone. Right, we'll get a quarry. Oh, 
there's one right fucking there. When I say that quarry is too close and it's too close to my existing rail network for it to work. I think I'll do the one up here. Um, or here. This one here. Makes a lot of sense. This one's nice and seem easy to build towards my thingy. See, that's so simple. And it comes and turns here. But it won't turn here because there's not a connection between these rails. There needs to be that. And then it'll turn properly. That's it. Then it comes through here. You know, I'm going to keep my passenger line going. There's no need to delete it. There's no need to delete that. But I need to make a sort of intersection here. Uh... Oh, thank goodness, I thought that was me. Oh no, sorry, the tragedy of human loss. Who just lost 64 people in a crash? Zen Moss. Zen Moss, what happened? Yeah, Zen Moss. How could that happen? That's what happened terrible. to the signals, man? Yeah. Explain yourself, mate. So the world's knows, media is listening. Know he's guilty, so he's just not talking. What's the best uh, cargo mm. locomotive that I can get? I've been messing around with a couple of them, and they all seem kind of crap. I don't know, but Zenmos, the Fifth Amendment doesn't exist in Japan. Silence is only going to make you look more guilty. Put a sign there so uh, Zenmos will always remember what he did. I don't, oh, even, I don't even recall where it happened. Actually, well, also uh, that was me, not Zenmos. God's uh, sake, who who spread sure? the fake news? I see the train smash right here by Yosaka Bar Grill and Rooms. Yep, that's me. I thought uh, what Zenmos was red. No, I'm red. Then Moss is grey. Oh. My. In hair and game. <laughs> I don't know. Apologies, Then Moss. What? What? They were He's ready a farmer, to lynch you. Right? You're they an were old going... farmer. They were ready to just lynch you. For killing 64 Japanese people. 
<laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> I don't have no idea what you're referring to. I put a sign there, and I bought the property there, so I shouldn't be able to buy this. Delete the sign. Oh, he deleted the sign. This is 1984 all over again. Where did this happen? It's so over. Look, they died honorably for the Emperor. Um, just a kamikaze. <laughs> Oh, I see. Is this Yakuza doing? Yes, it is. <laughs> I've no idea what you're on about. This means war. Oh, is it war? You just killed some of his passengers. Ooh. I didn't. I touched none of his passengers. No, I meant the other way around. Did he kill some of your passengers? No, he just placed a track in the way to stop my vehicles from crossing over and i can't how did you can't delete it wow i can't delete it man that's that's just game ruining you know that's game ruining is it what, what exactly are we doing here zamos come on just having, just having a bit of fun <laughs> where's the thing he can't did can't even behave Oh uh, yeah, I deleted his trains I, with some Hitman. She, Uko. Literally, it's a bus named Hitman. Shizuko? And he just owns part of my track. Shizuko, where? Um, what's it? Um, ah, just yeah. East Coast. There you go, fun's over. Alright, don't <laughs> do it. Alright, fucking hell. Obviously, some at some point in the game, it's fun to do this sort of thing, right? Uh, you know the one in the video? That was fun. But there's a time and a place. He didn't. He clearly didn't want that. The rules he didn't know. <laughs> I would have been fine with it if I was able to remove it. But I couldn't for some reason. It was owned you, by him. And I... delete that, there was right? one thing you could have done which would have been rather amusing and just build around it. Hold around <laughs> it, yes. But that wouldn't be the American dream. Wouldn't have been the American dream. No, the American dream. Look at the Native Americans. We've uh, we've always yeah, replaced well, I, them. I, I, I can't. They're not there anymore. This was straight rail way. We will hire bandits to clear out the inhabitants so we can have have a straight lane. Okay, so then I'm gonna have to fill uh, Umakazi with crime. You mean the town? I don't care about the town. When are you going to rock Barrow? Wait, I can't read because there's a, a heart in the bottom right of the chat. You see that? But I think you mean Baronia, but I think you mean Beornia. I don't have any plans to any time yet, but I might sometime actually. I might actually maybe I will do Beornia sometime and see if they're But there's gonna be if I ever do play Beornia in a multiplayer game, there's gonna be a weird dynamic with the Scandinavia player. Like, it's going to be hard to do organic diplomacy there because the Scandinavia player will be like, oh my god, it's Spudgun. I have to let him form England. Right? So it's not going to be exactly organic. What do you mean? I've only been... What's it? How do I say it? I have been on the reaction. I have not been the one to take... Save the American. Don't make me have to get Truman yet to drop the bomb. Ooh. Oh, you can't. They've already have. Take a look at the exclusion zone. Do you mean we've currently bought in more? Anyway, finally, I'm actually... It's taking me a while, but I'm actually ready to get my first fucking... <laughs> I've been sidetracked by these people. <laughs> You've just now surrounded you the entire town with that. Well, <laughs> too bad. Which town is he surrounded? The one where the USA treaty fought. There's, there's, a war, there's a war going on. <laughs> oh. People aren't allowed to have uh, to expect, grow their town. It would be deemed a national risk to the United States for their town to expand. 
I don't think you're gonna have a choice in the matter. <laughs> I swear, if you can buy my land, I'll be pissed off. I have to put a painful protest. Where's minutes. Bavaria? Well, you see. I've been doing it every two weeks for the past three months, right? Well, and yeah, that's staying the same. Okay, is that? I'm gonna commit Sudoku and draw some numbers. See what I mean, chat? About about earlier with the uh, people will be asking where the Scandinavia campaign is. People are also asking where Bavaria is, even though it's been every two weeks for three months. Right, this DB103 German one looks very good. It's the maximum power of any train, so it can carry a lot of shit. And we're taking... Uh, it's stone that I'm taking, so I need to one I need one that can carry stone. <laughs> you've, you've expanded to other towns. Wow can't just answer a fucking question, got to whinge constantly. You're the one that's whinging, mate. I'm pointing out how it's obvious, right? It's a stupid question. I shouldn't have to bow down to stupid questions sometimes, right? Oh, answer this, answer that. Answer the same questions over and over again. Come on. Anyway, if you're a hater, why are you even watching this fucking open TTD stream of all things? So the fastest we can go is 63 miles an hour, which really calls into question the need to buy, you know, 125 mile an hour fucking locomotive. I think I'd rather go for this Austrian one. Hmm, yeah, I'll just go for that. Then we can get a load of fucking carts and then fucking make them carry stone. Oh, this guy's actually answering? When you curate what you say, you actually make decent content. Sometimes I apparently need a reminder. You need a reminder. Okay. Curate. I don't know what you mean by curate. So it picks up the uh, Taketa Woods, picks up, goes all the way to Onuta and unloads. Simple. Let's see if it does it right. Let's watch this train go on one full journey and do it right before we drop off at the location. Any chance we get you to play open? I, I think that's Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I, I mean, no, I don't have any plans. I'm not looking for any new games right now. I'm, I've got enough on my plate with the content I'm currently doing. So, no. But look, the thing about these sorts of questions is, and you, if you think I'm being unreasonable by snapping back at people asking certain questions, let me help you to look at it from my perspective, right? It's been, you know, I've been getting this sort of questions, it's years, right? Year after year after year, the same sort of questions about the same things. So after years of it, it gets annoying. You know, maybe, maybe a few years ago, I would have been like, oh, oh it's going to happen at this exact day even if I've said it a million times before and I've posted it on Discord, posted it in video descriptions, posted it in community posts already. But after years, I'm just like, oh my God, the same questions. Come on, I've already posted this. But anyway, so the Bavaria series has been a schedule of two weeks now solidly for the past three months. That should tell you the answer already. Um, in term, I've also asked the question of, what was it? The other example would be, why is there not going to be a stream on Sunday? Well, in the actual session last Sunday, this was announced. I told people 
It was raised during the actual session. So people who watched that either live at the time or on the VOD should know. Then I've talked about it on every subsequent stream and I also posted it as an, in the announcement channel on Discord and on the VOD. So it was in the it was in a pinned comment on the VOD, I do believe. So the VOD people should definitely know uh, and in the description in the VOD. So we're already looking at about five separate places where I've announced um, that the stream, there won't be a Victoria Scandinavia stream on Sunday. I'm sorry, I was just trying to make conversation. Well, you're the one who asked about Open RCT 2. I didn't really, I didn't react to that badly, did I? I just say I don't have any plans to play it. Uh, the Open RCT question wasn't the one I reacted badly to. I reacted badly to Bavaria. Of the conflict. There's no crime blockade around you. <laughs> Oh, what's what's going on here? There's a there's a crime blockade from the underground, uh, Yakuza ring, against uh, the U.S. intervention. <laughs> it's just a mild conflict going on. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Midnight. What's up? Wolven says hi. Nice day. I hope he's having fun with his uh, with his donkeys and in his farm. I like when he I like when he posts pictures of on Discord. They're pretty cute. I like it too. Where's the donkey good in Open TTG? Well, they would be called asses. Then. We could have ho horses, but. I think it's too late for horses to be used. Shit, I, I said I was going to look at one train's entire journey, but then I got sidetracked by the crime going on and I've lost the train. It's not... I think the train has gone off somewhere because it's not on the fucking route it's meant to be on. Uh, <laughs> oh no, it's still loading. No, 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 that's fine. It's still loading at, at its original station. We're good. We're good. I like that. <laughs> I like that. The just blockaded. What the hell? I like to announce the wall. The crime blockade. Yeah, the problem is I can bolt over it. Well, I mean, after the previous thing, it's got to be got to have some standards. Are you guys using electrified rail? Universal. I think I'm getting Twitch and or Discord and or YouTube chat man, um, mixed up or messed up. What what was the problem? What happened? Universal can have electric trains on it, but it costs more right. per meter or whatever you call it. So unless you have electric trains, there's no need. Are you guys using electric trains? Yeah. Universal Rail can have electric trains, but also any other kind of train on it too. All right. But diesel's better, I think, until like the nineties. But it depends right, so on rain. But I'm I'm fine for now. But I'm gonna have to tear down everything and rebuild it in Universal. You can, if you go Universal, there's an upgrade button on the far right. It's the arrow jumping over the track. I see. So that will convert all the rail to the new type. Do I just, like, drag-click over the entire... Yep, you should be able to. The Yakuza is now in the air. Oh, I, oh, I have a problem. Oh, that, yeah, there's a, not a connection there. Fucking hell. I don't know why I didn't have that. Helicopter in drugs now. Terrorize uh, Omazaki a little more. The, uh, the evil American invasion.
I think I've made here could possibly be my first ever three-way junction. It looks pretty nifty, actually. I haven't done a thing like that before. Yeah, by the way, chat, there's a little announcement for the channel memberships. Channel member announcement. A few days ago, I noticed that I had reached 100 members, which allowed me to have another emote slot. I do believe that YouTube emotes for memberships are a bit ungenerous, right? The amount of members you need for a new emote is a lot. But we added North FC. Post it. It is an open war now. <laughs> open fucking war. Well, may the best man win. Oh yeah, these electric trains are so much better. What the fuck? They're also a lot more expensive. All right, builders yard hardware store. Did Fine. you build an airport? We're going to put a load of drugs in this town now. There's you a hardware store in Kagoshima, building. perfect. Scum. Are you hitting Spec Ops Cav as well, Zen, now? I may, I may be exporting drugs from, uh, you know, uh, you know, unlicensed drugs from Tokyo and shipping them to the front lines. This is by, uh, the treaty oh. port, you know, I'm going to block it, the treaty port, one sec. Where the fuck is this hardware store? Uh... <laughs> we go blockaded okay. that port completely out of action now you know the soviets did this and they lost no i don't know what you're on about <laughs> oh my fuck guys my existing train station is one tile away from covering the hardware store i could have used it oh, oh. If I extend it by one tile by destroying a bit of the town, I could do it. Um... <laughs> the battle, the clicks. Put some soldiers over here. Well, oh, I need to come and see this. Uh... Oh, you spot gun. You should also see the wall I built. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I need to spectate. Hang on, this I'm is gonna... like playing Vic 2 now because I have to spectate a wall. I'm going to build paradox some, shit. Some, uh, paradox some troopers at the rubber plantation. Why don't you bring your damn kamikaze pilots here? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the rubber plantation surrounded. Captured. <laughs> <laughs> Kofu Estates? No, 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 no. Built an airport. There's gonna be gunmen shooting people at uh, the Kimberlite deposits. Watch out. <laughs> Okay, let's not do that because I can't fix that. Damn it! Why did these? Why did the cargo things only go up to like 120 kilometers an hour? Why is this so uh, slow? Uh, max wagon. speed is the wagons here. Why is this so slow? Terrible indeed. Uh, I'm gonna switch to doing passengers. Oh, like... adding another fucking track doesn't extend the coverage. Uh... If you hold control, you can do something cheeky, which is if you put down any other kind of station, it just kind of boosts it yeah. around it. Yeah, I think uh, if I maybe, maybe a little... I can make a bus station, which would actually be a genuine bus station and not just a meme extension. But did you say I use control? If you hold control, you can place it anywhere nearby. And, oh, I know uh, that. that way. But if I... I could build it on the station, but if I also just build it... Attach it to Kagoshima Woods. 
Um, that did it. That actually did do it. Yeah, cheeky as fuck, but it makes sense. It's fine. I can, I can add that place as an order to all my bo uh, my bosses. It'll go there. Z man, you've got a what's that? Um, an official. You've got a tick next to your name, mate. What does that mean? Are you someone important? Like me? Well, unlike me, because I don't have a tick. You do Hold realize. On. I don't care about the people of Japan. Oh, 138... You know what? 138k subscribers. This... Whoa, hold on a minute. It's a big deal here. Sabotaging your pancakes. I'm not Canadian. It is someone important. Well, hello. I'm taking away your hamburgers. How dare you not allow um, McDonald's to do business in Japan? How's YouTube Premium? No, I don't think that's YouTube Premium. I think that's uh, an official chat. Also, look at the grouping of the buses. That shit didn't work out. The grouping of the buses is terrible. Guys, I have to complain massively. So if you don't like me complaining, go away. But this fucking timetable shit. Here is this. What is this fucking timetable shit? Again. Auto separation, like what? The auto separation is a fucking fantasy, right? In my mind, that should just automatically mean that it, you know, there should be an equal amount of buses at the equal amount of stations, and they should wait a bit to give some time. You know what I mean? It just doesn't work. All right, let's see this. Anyway, build a nice road there so they can get around. <laughs> An airport McDonald's has been burnt. Oh, the humanity. Total war. <laughs> I have to say it's funny to hear you, Spud, complain a bit. Well, I'm happy about that, to be honest. When I complain and get salty at something, like questions in chat or shit in the game, I hope that at least it's entertaining and it doesn't turn people off. If people find it funny, um, or find it entertaining, then good. It's better than them finding it annoying, from my point of view. <laughs> Fucking good. Okay. Right. You know, on the lines over there, blocking, uh, blocking your trains. Hope you enjoy the content that I provide. By the wall. Did you ever play the roller coaster tycoon games? Well, that question is a little bit similar to an earlier question. I don't want to play open roller coaster tycoon or anything, but I did play roller coaster tycoons when I was younger. So that's actually a good question. Right, because earlier in the stream, I said a few times I don't have any plans to play any new games. But if you just ask me a general chat about something that I played in my childhood, well, yes, I'll answer that. Fucking hell, yeah. Anyway, Kagoshima Woods is now set up to take building materials, so I can do that. They can take... They can go... So a train will pick up building materials here from the fucking cement factory, take them to this three-way intersection, come around here, come around here, and go down all the way. Um, so, yeah. So what has you been Zoo doing Tycoon. in this uh, game so far, um, Zenmos? Uh, I've kind of done... Oh, God, I just looked back other up than, north. You've burnt oh, everything. <laughs> other than griefing other people, uh, what's your focus been? Uh, at the moment, it was uh, convert fruit into uh, vegetable oil for uh, frying things, but I was mixing it with sewage for illegal reasons. Vegetable oils? Are you turning people into soy men? Uh, you would know, but... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The soy, soy sauce everywhere. I've melted people in the soy sauce. You ever seen Breaking Bad? Yeah. That's what's happened. <laughs> Holy shit, this song's a banger. Taiko Shuffle from the Total War 2 OST. Shogun Total War OST. That one slaps. I'm going to put the volume up and start that one again. I 
Anyway, I'm going to continue with my good etiquette of uh, train grouping here. If you need me to remove those, uh, what's it? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> It's all, it's all memes and greeting. Mm-hmm. Oh! The red has uh, surrounded the Yakuza airway. It appears I'm encircled over there. Perhaps we should join forces and cap the red. You know what? That is completely true. Uh, Tokyo? I have to do some bribery. <laughs> Oh lord. <laughs> yes, we will like, crash his economy. <laughs> New war. <laughs> there we go. Tokyo, he has no longer authority to do trade there for 12 months. Absolutely horrendous. Even worse. <laughs> no way. <laughs> 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 oh, poor Tokyo people, the true victims of this war. What? I'm, 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 it's not enough. That harbor? No, no, no. It's, it's now a lake. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fucking hovercraft. Though. There we go. It's blocked off from the ocean. You're, you're a fucking lake now. <laughs> so are you moving on to griefing? No griefing. Spec ops it's, fun. it's a little bit of fun. Are you finding it fun, spec ops? Um, you... they're just losing money, so I guess <laughs> it literally yeah. doesn't affect me. But how does this affect you personally? Uh, it feels good to be so powerful that they're actively trying to stop me. Um, you know? Yeah, I mean, what is the profit draft? Yeah, of course, you are up there at the top. Oh, I, I know. And me on basically just having two trains the whole game is second. I've been well, wasting, not really. I upgraded since then. I've been wasting a lot of money, I will admit. Have you seen my train line? Same, yeah. It's fairly I literally just... It's I mean, totally my train and... line is crazy. Good. You know what I... might be really amusing? The, uh... Those hovercrafts, I think they should go further. What if you make, like, a maze in the, in the lake for them to go through? <laughs> you can try really? it. They'll pass but it. No, you've already pass. established a, uh... I can see you've already established a grid underneath to prevent that. Yeah, well, you pick up a few trips in the uh, tricks in the business. Trips? Ah, oh, I see the drugs are working. <laughs> anyway, now I need to bring in Clay. What is, what is Clay I started at six thirty. All right. Boss fate mines. Where can we find those? Uh, there's one right fucking next to it. Look, chat, there we have it again, everyone in the chat. Look, no Bavaria. I can explain why this question's even worse, by the way, because that question isn't even when Bavaria, right? It's not asking when Bavaria is, and I would point them to my obvious schedule that I've talked about a lot. This one's just asking if there's no Bavaria. This person has gone onto my channel, clicked for a new video, seen that there isn't one, and come to my stream just to make sure that I didn't release Bavaria Part 22, but specifically set it so that one guy can't watch it. He's just coming to make sure that happened. Look, I'm sorry, I'm ranting. 
It's just the way I am, Hebrew name, I'm sorry, I get like this sometimes, okay? You can put up with it, right? You, you get you get it, right? You get it. <laughs> that one guy will never get his video. Oh no. Didn't mean to annoy you. Well, it did, but that's no real fault of you, okay? It's more my fault. No new surf wave video. That is an old one. That's a golden oldie right there. Now, vapor wave died a long time ago, didn't it? I cashed in on it at the time by making an amazing vapor wave edit myself, but uh, that fad is dead. sad as it is to say i'm going to have to cut and run i have to go back to farming work it is late and i have cows to uh make sure they are not carving in uh, a bad state do i hear right. the footsteps of the japanese coming to surrender no uh they've all committed sudoku <laughs> we won yeah, that's definitely a victory for uh, Lawrence. Oh, IRL, the, the most powerful weapon of all. <laughs> she had determination. But, uh, well, I've had fun. But uh, work calls. Yeah, well, thanks for playing. Thanks, I had fun with this war. That was a good it, war. It's a, it's a silly war, but uh, we'll see how long the Yakuza survive before going under. <laughs> <laughs> My final weapon will bring the Mafia in. What good am I taking? Fucking... Um... Boss Fate Not Clay. So Spec Ops, what is your main income? Uh, if you wanna go to... Do you see uh, Yokosuka Woods? Yeah. So that is the uh, liquid terminal. And that mm -hmm. is pretty much the main profit. So I've got all the tracks go to either oil or they go to a seed oil place. And they just bring it all in here. This then gets moved to the cement plant which makes cement and that building supplies are then sent down to the building yard down here do i sense the american in you the one you're trying to destroy right now yeah yeah i realized that was meant for um what is it now the yakuza's but uh i've, I've mixed up the red and gray yeah i was getting oh, yeah. like um attacked and i didn't know why i was like oh but, uh, what's, yeah, the, what's, uh, what's the name of that Paradox Jap Japan game? Sen Sengoku. Oh, the one that... Yeah? Wait, the chess game? Yeah, I'm getting the soundtrack. Like chess-like game? I don't know, no. Like a, uh, it was an old Paradox game. It was, wasn't it similar to EU4? Or am I crazy? 
I think it was like more similar to Crusader Kings, but in Japan, I think. Yeah. Wasn't very good, I think apparently. They should add. Uh, you could add it to Crusader Kings, but you need. Oh to yeah, add you're China. right. Sengoku, 2011. Uh, no, it was called Senjutsu. No, it's Sengoku. All these words are the same. But yeah, the honestly the best station design is the two one that you'll see at most of my depots. So we just have two lines, one that they can go in both of them, but they can only go out one way and in one way. Mm -hmm. Your depots. It's, it's, ah, it's yeah. uh, my station. Sorry, it's so oh. simple. Spotguns Shinkansen services. I don't know. Don't know what that means. Maybe it's something Pretty terrible. Because it means they can wait. One of them will go in. They'll leave, and they just. It doesn't jam up. Is the main thing. I've kind of stopped expanding, just because I'm like, I've got too much money. <laughs> How much money do you have now? I'm on 10 million, but... Some of just these... Bare. Some of these places just take so long to load onto the trains. I think it depends on the goods. There's a loading... speed, depending on the goods. That shows the most sparsely populated area to do big transport in. Not very efficient. Much oh pain. no! No! You stopped me. Tokyo can bullet this posit. Oh, the humanity! The war still wages on. How oh, is my this train doing? Hey, I love it's how coming. my plane takes a whole year to fly from Tokyo to Sapporo. That's it's great. I don't even know where it is. Building materials delivered to Kagoshima and that made loads of money. This city has three hotels in it, by the way. Yeah, I've got three hotels in Up Sapporo as well. I haven't connected them at all yet. Nice. I kind of want to make some kind of domestic train service that can take passengers between the three hotels, but it's too late now. The city's grown too much. I should, could have done it early, and then the city would build around it. I need to give this city more room to grow. Fucking hell, it's... Um... I'm gonna be honest, I might go into single player and just play this scenario myself, like, another day, just to have fun connecting all the cities together. <laughs> this is pretty fun. It is nice that all of the cities in Japan kind of, like, line up, almost. City. In the boring. City, Japan. Oh! I mean, if you zoom out on the map, you can see they're really, like, organized together in lines. It does look like that, yeah. Makes it easy for passenger trains, I think. There's a... There's a strange island here, which I don't know if it's some kind of feature in real life, but there's an island that just looks like a rocky mountain, but I've just uh, flattened it. Where was it? 
uh, southern island next to Kagoshima. I have just flattened it entirely to make a perfect American style suburban grid system. Nice. Uncle Sam would have wanted it like that. Now you rest in peace. When is the Metropolitan Airport going to be unlocked? Right, this city has a lot of room to expand now. But they've already started building their first buildings in this... Uh, Massive thingy. Where did you go, Midnight? My internet uh, fucked over for a couple seconds there. I got oh, disconnected. Right. I can just join back in, right? Yes. The clay loading is so fucking long. It's a long time to pick that up. Oh my god. I need another phosphate mine. Oos? Hey, look, you can't just type oos in the chat. You've got to use the channel member. Goose emote, come on. What are you doing? And now the plane is going to take two years to get back to Tokyo. Truly wonderful. This... I don't need to make this a complicated interchange because actually I, there's no trains that go up this way because of the disaster. The disaster of the failed bridge experiment. I wish you could build a long bridge. I wanted to build a bridge between the two islands at a certain point but then I realised that bridges can only be a certain size. Which is really unrealistic because there are such big bridges like the, the Key Bridge in Baltimore. That was really long. But Open TD doesn't let you do it, and that was built in the seventies. Yep. Was that uh, too soon? No, uh, is it called the Keel Bridge? Something Key Bridge. Ah. Oh. Did people go on the Wikipedia of that Baltimore Bridge and call it was? Yeah. Yes. Got to be the first one. Does the bridge not sort of still exist, kind of, even if it's just a wreckage? Or does was only count? They only call something was when it dies, or does no longer exist at all? I gotta be muted, my dogs are acting up. You can make an artificial island in the middle. Well, look. I think even one stop in the middle is not enough. I mean, I can try it, right? Let's make an island roughly halfway. See if it works. Because Freddy said earlier that it was, what, 13 or something. I don't know. Well, that's because they're not at the same level. So it would be there. Like that. Mm. Height difference. So there. Uh, 
Okay, that is telling me it's not at the same level, even when it is at the same level. Cool. So this is also kind of just fucked. Oh my god, wait. We did it? Hold on a minute. Bridge. Uh, boring. Bridge, Japan. Oh, oh my god! Give me more vegetable oils! I made the massive bridge though. Problem is, there's nowhere I actually want to take it to. You can take a train to Hiroshima. Where is it anyway? Well, there's a there's an exclusion zone around it though. Oh yeah. You can bring the train around it so people can sightsee. Where's Nagasaki? I can make a Nagasaki to Hiroshima Express. It's uh, a northwest of where you where Kagoshima is. North. Ah yeah. Ah, there's a Spec Ops airport. So Nagasaki has a hotel. Hiroshima doesn't have a hotel. But there is one at Higa, Higashi Hiroshima. Actually, there's a... There's a phosphate mine. There's two phosphate mines here. I'm going to do that instead. I'm just going to make it a boring part of my existing build. Yeah, this bridge actually can have multiple signals within it. So you can have more than one on the bridge at a time, I think. I don't know. But you see, chat, this raises implications for this junction here, because this now... Well, I mean, there isn't actually going to be a train that would go from Beppu Pit to the other direction. So it isn't really actually necessary to have it be able to go either way. This is already ready to use. I can just make another clay train immediately. From the Hikari pit. These slow loading clay trains, which are actually fucking shite. But let's make one anyway. My first clay train fucking delivered something? Oh, wow, it did. I think they, they load faster after they've done one already because you get a higher rating or something, don't you? No idea. Oh well, crickets again. I'm, I'm busy making uh, airways, you know. Buying some new Boeings because I hear they're so good. 
Hmm. Uh, do you actually have Boeings? I, I need to make a Kagoshima airport. Yeah, uh, I've currently got um, Concords. Oh, the station too spread out bullshit. There's nowhere good to make an airport in Kagoshima. And the city is not really growing much. Mm. I'm building my HQ right there though, chat. There's my HQ. Did you just fund road rebuilding in yourself? Yeah, it should make the city make more roads if it has room. Is that how it works? Because I thought it was just used to mess with people. No, I think it's meant to. It does both, I think. But it could just make it bad. Well, the AI, it encourages the AI to make more roads. Pretty sure. Speaking of making more roads, I need to do the same. I've also built more roads. This city has a lot of room to expand now. There's no excuse. Grow. Grow more. It looks like this Tokyo that Spec Ops has built is realistically growing into the gigantic, massive, mega city it is in real life. Yeah, I think. Right now, I'm just, I'm just building airports. I feel like I've reached the peak of money-making capability. Just building airports. Yeah. Like if I go onto Google Maps. And if you look at Tokyo, like, it is just absolutely fucking mental how big it is. I think it's a bit more to the other side too, to Sinjuku. Sinjuku? Well, because it's the other like a side. blob, pretty much, that covers the entire harbour. Chiba. I mean. I don't, I'm not really interested in Japan, I'm not, and I'm not a weeb, but the one thing about Japan that I'm interested in is the absolute fucking size of this city. Or what is actually just a combination of what used to be probably hundreds of different towns and cities that have eventually grown into the same thing. Like London used to be various different towns and cities, one of which was London, or the city of London. And then it grew out and joined on to the rest of them. I mean, oh my god, if you actually zoom in and then you actually get to see the individual tiny roads and buildings. But, uh... Yeah, at least someone in Lawrence's fucking real life agrees with me. But Tokyo proves that you can have a city that massive with an actual efficient public transport system that works and is pretty effective. It does prove it can happen. But not many yeah. other places are good at it. I 
It's an outlier, though, isn't it? In terms Not of really. efficient, most of the Asian metro systems tend to be pretty efficient. Yeah. True, but Western ones tend to be less efficient. Yeah. Uh, it depends. You can have some that are pretty good, but yeah, they tend to be smaller they... scale. Is the issue? Well, I guess North American ones are just bad for the but most part. Yeah. North American ones are shite. London, uh, people complain about London, but at the end of the day, it's not that bad for its transport. Uh, the, the underground is good, and uh, it has a lot of good overground rail services. Everywhere. It has some. It has some problematic stations, but otherwise, it's yeah. fine. Well, I guess the last thing I need to bring into this place is petroleum fuels, which comes from a liquids terminal. If only the London Underground's air wasn't so polluted, and if only some of those stations weren't loud as fuck as well, or the trains and some, uh, some lines. I mean, they're so loud, some of them, that they, can, they actually damage people's hearing. You've been a you've been a commuter on the Paris transport system, haven't you? Midnight. How is that one compared to everything? I can't say for the entire network, but it's pretty good. It's just um, some of the older metro stations tend to also be less secure. So your average homeless person is sometimes going to take refuge in those stations. Uh, well, London has a bit of that too, yeah. Sometimes at night I see like people, they don't set up tents, but they do like cuddle in the corner of the station in the wee hours of night. But otherwise it's not terrible. Especially the newer lines, they tend to be pretty uh, clean. Run fast. Usually on time as well. Although I will say... I've gone on the Northern Line in the London Underground, and I hate it, so I'm not sure if I could compare the two. But I'd say Paris's metro system is better. Hmm. Given that my only experience Paris. with the Underground is the Northern Line, and the Northern Line has a part where you can... It doesn't even feel like you're inside a train. It just feels like the entire train is just a plat, like a moving floor, and you just hear everything going around you in the tunnel, like 120 decibels at least. You mean it's the worse noise. than a construction site. Yeah. Yeah. Edible oil, though. What the fuck is that? I feel like I have one. Well, you have one. Yeah, well, yeah. You, uh, you started in Tokyo. Of course, you won. No, no. So Tokyo, I didn't make much money off it. I mean, the hovercraft do make money, but the oil makes a lot of money. And I'm just lucky it was c relatively close together. But yeah, as soon as you get planes, the game's over because planes are just money makers. Like this plane is made. A quarter of a million. And I just put it down before. And it has needs no infrastructure. You just put it down and it flies. Can I throw an airport down over there? The, the one that I have is a bit far away from Tokyo. But actually they hate me, I can't build in Tokyo anyways. Huh? 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 Well, the petroleum fuels ship is there and it is going to take a large amount of time to load that. 
They also cram people inside the trains in Tokyo. They do that everywhere during rush hours. Doesn't matter. It's in London. It's if, I mean, an underground metro train during a rush hour. All of them will be crammed. If there's not enough people. Or if there's too many people and not enough space, they'll always be crammed. I don't know what you can do about that. Like, you'd have to prevent, you'd have to ban people from standing and make sure everyone had a seat or something. And that's not feasible. Are trucks even worth it or are they using a mod to make them worth it? None of us are using trucks. Well, trucks are never trucks. feasible in OpenTTD, are they? I'm using trucks. They they oh. do earn earn some money. Just not a lot. Where did you build midnight? All the way up north. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't looked at yours yet, I'm sorry. I need to see this. It's absolute hot garbage, but uh Do you have signals? If by signals you mean randomly placed ones, then yes. Hmm. And also, I, I've barely put any trains on my network, partially because I'm worried that they'll crash into each other if I put too much. I am making some nice money now, though, which is cool. Oh, you've built Sapporo up. Sapporo! How many people did it start the game with? Like, 7,000, I think. It's currently the second biggest city. In this game. Town directory. Um... What is Osaka? Sapporo is. What is that? True jewel of the north. Well, I'm counting Yokohama as part of Tokyo. And I'm also. Well, Osaka. Is that. Are you midnight green in Osaka as well? Yeah, I, I've I've put down some stuff. But other well, Kagoshima just overtook Yokohama right now. Yoko Ono. Chat W says, "Hey, will you play Millennia again?" Yes, I actually do intend to play it again. I said this earlier on the stream, but you know, you weren't here, which is fine. And I haven't and I haven't announced it much. This is a fair question, okay? It's a fair question, guys. Don't complain. Right. I'm going to do it either maybe Monday or Tuesday. I'm going to go to Millennia again. I'm not going to continue the playthrough I was doing. I might continue that one off stream. I'm going to start a new one. But I would like to go to Hokkaido one day. During the winter. Seems like a nice, not so urbanized place outside of Sapporo. Yeah, maybe you'll find some Ainu people. We now have a, a Sapporo to Nagasaki uh, airline. It's the largest. Like, yeah. Oh, airport. come on. Why, why did you put an airport there, man? It's business to be made. As soon as um, the uh, Yakuza started making airplanes, you know, I had no to. No more gentlemen's agreement. Yeah, he broke it. If you break Brushing. it. I'm gonna go all the way. <laughs> I need to make my own airport. Uh, here. <laughs> the London Underground was so popular though it had it. It had a whole song written about it. I don't think that's a good thing. Oh, the the Unity Dart is basically the equivalent of the Concorde, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it is the Concorde. 
Yeah. But just the different name. Well, I'm gonna do Kagoshima to Nemuro. Oh, so yeah, the Concord is OP. <laughs> like, it, the running cost needs to be at least like I, I don't know. Just you shouldn't be making money off it really, because it's it's a train game. <laughs> I guess it is Transport mm. Tycoon, but it doesn't feel right just using planes. That's one of the reasons I've always favoured going with the earlier starts. Earlier start years, normally. Because they're just not in the game. And if they are, then they are Zeppelins, which are slow and funny. Well, Pinsk, you ask about a Vic 3 stream. I might do Sphere of Influence stream when that shit comes out in May. But it comes out on the 6th of May, doesn't it? So I might not actually be available. Wait, let me look. I probably I probably won't be able to do the Victoria Three Sphere of Influence just because I'll be busy on that week or two. But um, I mean, in terms of actually playing it, I'll be busy. But I can look at it and check that review score, that all important review score. Paradox has been having a lot of shiters lately. Even the Paradox Plaza Reddit is noticing. As I say, Skylines DLC that fucking tanked on reviews. Most, I think it's the worst reviewed Paradox product fucking ever. Like, just some beach... I can't remember what it is. Maybe some people in the chat know about it. Some beach building pack or something. Did Pie Chucker ever say anything about his tardiness? No, apparently he still hasn't woken up yet. I can understand Why he didn't that. wake up? I mean, I was going to sleep in, but... I just woke up because my body made me wake up at this time, so... Oh, my, my plane is going. You got the open TTD itch. Do any of you people here know about this City Skylines 2 DLC that absolutely got hated? There's DLC for that game now? Well, yeah. Just because the game came out and flopped and was unoptimized and was a disaster doesn't mean they shouldn't already start pumping out DLC. Apparently there was a Beach Properties came out, and someone in the chat says it's a Beach Properties that had no beach buildings in it. What? Okay, so they've sold a radio station for 5 euros. Uh, whatever the fuck this is. And for 10 euros, you get new assets. That's uh What's the 10 euro one called? It's the beachfront property. Oh. Stuff. So that's 10 euros. And you get new building assets. Well, no wonder that has been absolutely disaster. It's not even any content. It's 10 euros for stuff that can be modded in. It's 5% positive on Steam. Yeah, I think it's the worst reviewed Paradox product ever. Um, why couldn't have Colossal Order just like scaled back all of this stuff? This looks like they, re they really needed like at least another year or two if you ask me well everything that paradox has released or published lately needed more time including millennia which is actually not a bad game at its core but came out without proper multiplayer came out with just bare bones content wasn't i don't tell me if i'm wrong but wasn't like a b team at paradox that made millennia no, yeah, like, it was they're published by them. They didn't make it. 
Oh, it's there's a different a, developer. There's a lot of confusion around that. Well, people just don't care. They just say Paradox made it. But Yeah, lots of people just say it was Paradox for shorthand. Um, they I'm don't really ever say... I've, they make I've it never heard confusing. of this developer. I mean, I, look, I know about them because I always look into it. And I looked up the game and looked into it in detail. But if you were just an average consumer, it would be confusing. And I, for example, I checked, the, the, you know, the Yogg's cast did uh, a sponsored video for Millennia and they just outright said this is a new Paradox game. Or was it someone else? One of them, you know, one of these big people that did a, a Millennia thing. They just said, this is a new game by Paradox. They're not wrong, but it published and produced their different things. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I'm going to call it there. Good luck catching up. Yeah, the we'll, profit we'll graph. Probably call it. But it is at the end of the day, these are all even if they didn't develop it, these problems are Paradox's fault because as the publisher, they're forcing the devs to force or rush these games out for their own corporate publishing deadlines. Yeah. To be honest, but, yeah, thanks, Skylines Two was uh, very ambitious from what I've it, seen. From what I've seen it, of it, it was a worse launch than SimCity when that yes. you know. SimCity was terrible, the EA one, but somehow they've managed to make a worse city game. They where... just had to improve City Skylines a little bit, and then they would have probably made big bucks off of it, but... Uh... Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, even oh, with the shite launch it had, it's got a huge amount of players. Thanks so much, Spec Ops Cavalry. See you later, mate. Bye. See ya. Because, uh... What was I saying? Oh yeah, City Skylines 2 had like 300,000 concurrent players on launch. So it already sold amazingly and did well. Imagine it, it probably could have done even better if they actually made a good functioning game. I was actually excited for that game. Yeah, Just I was to... moderately excited as well. I, I, have, I haven't even gotten it yet. I don't even want to play it on this new um, good PC I have. <laughs> you still probably get... Uh... Just frame rate issues if you tried running it, probably. Yeah, I didn't want to get it until I'd seen that it's clearly improved and it solved the problems, but uh, it's still not doing well. It's still mixed. Its recent reviews are still mixed, if I recall correctly as well. It's just not looking like it's getting any better. I think it's the worst. It's mostly negative. Well, this DLC thing has probably brought it down a lot. Yeah. Recent reviews, 28%. Yeah, the SimCity. SimCity had this interesting concept of having multiple cities in an area and being able to do multiplayer, but they didn't implement it well because the size of cities was way too small, I think. I, don't I think that was the issue. New releases, I can't I hear you, Lawrence. I don't get excited for new releases before I can't play them. Motherfucker is quiet. Hello, testing. Can you hear me now? There you go. Yes. I don't get excited for new games now because I I can't play them. Oh. I don't. I've just a poor computer that can't play potato computer. Well, the next thing on the radar is Prison Architect Two, and it looks okay. They're bringing it to three D, but I'm I'm just wondering how Paradox will find a way to. Uh, ruin that one as well i'm not a big fan of done turning prison architect 3d it's kind of doesn't make sense for them in my opinion i'm open to it i'm open to checking it out i think being able to do multiple levels in a building is a very big upgrade a very good thing maybe but if it somehow fucks it up in some other way, then I wouldn't put it past them. Alright, now my first airplane going from Kagoshima to the north of Hokkaido is finally arriving. This is, this is basically the last thing I'm doing, I think we'll call it. Alright. This made 321,000, yeah, Concords. Yeah. 
how how inaccurate is this game, man? Come on. The average Concord should bankrupt your company instantly as soon as it launches. Up. Yeah, Concords. Oh my god, they were only really used for transatlantic flights, and they were or supposed even to. Then, be, yeah. They weren't that good. They were they were good as a plane, technically amazing, but just economically it didn't work for the airlines. Well, not really. I mean, it depends, right? Because you do get there fast, but as like a transport, its comfortableness wasn't really that good. Yeah. I mean, it's they, loud. Ended, they, they had to market it as a really high-end thing, so tickets were really, really expensive. Big business people got in it. I wonder if they'll ever like bring back the concept in the modern day. It would be nice. Uh, probably not the way that the whole airline, airline industry is going with uh, fucking green stuff. You know, I mean, it depends. If you could somehow make like a all electric plane work, it wouldn't be too far of a stretch to try and get it to like supersonic speed at the very least. Problem Maybe not like areas. probably not the like Concord speeds, but a bit faster than the now. There's no because mm -hmm. the Concord that was being said. speed when in uh, what's it when it was in country, it then reaches true speed on the ocean where there was no noise complaints. Oh, yeah, made. that's true. That was one of the downsides. Uh, it was too yeah. loud, But that isn't a big issue because, you know, the, the ocean is like 99% of the distance of the journey. I mean, that's why it had to be transatlantic, I guess. But I feel that it has gone away now because businesses no longer have to be in person and have to be there to immediately. The urgency to be across the channel is not there. Oh, that's as a, really that's a good point. Them. That's a good point as well. Nick, why, why, uh, why travel to New York from London when you can just go by Zoom or Discord? Yep. You know, we don't need to have this open DDD session or IRL LAN gathering. We can just do it like this. You know, we don't need to fly around. I could wage war with the Yakuza in my bedroom. Anyway, we'll call it there, I guess. Thank you for the game. If you do want to keep playing, you can take a save, go single player. Ready did I've been doing that for the cog challenge. Did you oh yeah, did you do more of the car game? Yes. Um so, and I used what's no longer point A to B, I used the actual train network. Nice. I saw you posting that screenshot, but I didn't realise it was from the same save as the car game. I started a new scenario just to get a clean sheet in mind. But yes. All right. Good night, everyone. Uh, have yeah, a good cheers. Easter. You too. Thanks for yeah, playing. See you. Thanks for the game spot. Bye bye. Well, chat. You know, I would look. The chat. It's so early, right? We didn't play that long. That I'm happy to just sit here and chat with you a wee bit longer. Chat. Like, don't go. No, don't necessarily go. I'm down to. I'm down to have a chat. None of you are really joining in our discussion about fucking Concords or anything, I guess, or the games that much, but I'm down to still chat with you here. Come on. It's, it's a bit too early to end it, you know? Although I, I do have a bit of time to do some uh, Bavaria Part 22 editing after the stream, I guess. If you insist. I do insist on continuing the stream a bit. Just uh, another fucking, you know, half an hour of chatting. That's all I want. One thing that I will say that is very interesting and good is that basically... Do you watch movies, Spud? Yeah, not that much, but yeah. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about streamers a bit. Streaming a bit, though. But this equivalent stream, right? Imagine if I was still on Twitch and I did this open TTD stream on Twitch instead. Um, this stream is w more lucrative, it's more worth it to do it on YouTube here. And the viewer counts probably weren't e wouldn't even be that dissimilar between uh, 
between YouTube and Twitch. The viewer count might not be dissimilar, but just the super chat potential. Super chats are just, I don't know, people take them up more than the donations, the stream element donation link. And that's probably just a coincidence of who happens to watch them. Because, for example, Friendly Merchant here, you're very generous with your super chats, but you don't watch me on Twitch. So, you know, if I was, if I just kept streaming on Twitch only, then I wouldn't get those. But, you know, that's only if I look at you as a pure, econ just as an economic blob, you know. You're a, you are a human being. Which is, you know, it's not right to look at people as if, oh, well, if I stream here, I'll get more of these people giving super chats. But just, you know, pound per pound, it's just the YouTube streams are just better, even if we have the equivalent viewer account. And... The channel memberships are also definitely better, but I will say that we only had one gifted channel membership on this stream. The equivalent Twitch stream might have gotten a few subs, but you, Twitch takes half the revenue of subs. So this one channel member gift that I got is way more valuable than a Twitch sub. So it's weird how it all works out, but we are where we are. Um, have you ever read Einlin's Starship Troopers. It's funny you should say that. I love the film Starship Troopers and actually lately I saw a load of debate about Starship Troopers lately and I thought hey, I'd actually like to read the original book and I did. But it wasn't what I expected at all. Like I was expecting... Well I just wasn't expecting it to basically be some kind of... It's more like a manifesto. It's, it was good but it's more like some kind of manifesto than it is an actual battle or sci-fi romp. And to be honest, in terms of entertainment, I prefer the movie, still. It's just, I don't know, I just love something about the movie. It's just the vibe, the special effects still, it looks, like the thing about Starship Troopers film is it looks so good. The look of everything, the armor, the aliens, you know, the sceneries, the, the sci-fi future shit. It looks better than many modern sci-fi things and stuff. Hello Spudgun, have you managed to form Germany yet? Uh, no, we're playing we're playing in Japan here, it's the ADF. But uh, you know, in comparing the book and the film, you also have to get into all these debates about the political backstory of it, which is a big can of worms, because that was a that was a big topic lately. Loads of people arguing about what the film or the book represented. Any other books you have read? It's funny that a few years ago, before even June 1 came out, I started reading June, but I only got about halfway fucking through it. I only got halfway through June, and then the films came out, and I've watched them both lately. I've read Lord of the Rings, yeah. I read Lord of the Rings a couple, oh, a few years ago. I certainly didn't just get halfway through one of those and then stop. Um, a Song of Ice. Yes, I read them a few years ago as well. And well, I mean, Friendly Merchant. You're ask. You're you're going through loads of things, but I'd rather I'd rather stop and have a conversation at each of the books instead of just writing off a list of books that I've read. You don't, want, you don't want to stop and have a wee talk about any of them. You want to talk about Starship Troopers or Dune or... But, yes, I read all the existing A Song of Ice and Fire books like five or six years ago. And they were good. Obviously enjoyed them enough, but... The situation about the current one and when it'll come out is really... weird and annoying and... I don't know if it was to be expected because he wrote himself into a wall and also you had the show coming out and having a very very unsatisfactory last season. It's a bit of a shit show overall. It's a bit of a shit show. It'll probably never be finished, let's face it. And you know the funny thing, Dune shows that, you know, when the original author goes, even if people are working alongside the original author, because I think George R. R. Martin has some people who he works closely with that help him and do a bit of lore, people that he's close to creatively. But 
June shows that, you know, the follow-up people <laughs> might not necessarily do a good job because uh, Frank, Frank Herbert, isn't it? His son wrote a bunch of June books that people just widely regard as bad. Even some of the later actual June books written by the original guy are not considered good. I haven't read the Silmarillion. Maybe I'll get that one later. I don't remember much of the June book, to be honest. I don't remember much. I just, I guess I remember it being really just... I mean, I found the first June weird, and I know all I've heard about the later June books is that it gets even weirder. So... But it's just... It is just so much weird shit. June is weird as fuck, overall. I mean, the giant worms, the weird aristocratic, futuristic sci-fi setting of houses, and it's all strange. It takes a lot of it'll take me a lot of time to unpack that and get you know really figure it out. I need to watch some video essays to uh, figure that out. But my question is, do we have any more Super Chats or channel memberships? I have to do a little e-begging segment. Do we have any more of those before we head out? But, um, Video Lord Dumps have had a massive impact on how people consume culture. Yeah, well they do, because you can, you can certainly learn a lot of lore about a whole thing in a very short amount of time. It condense, you can condense a whole series into a very quick lore dump video. Uh, fucking video essay. My monthly donate budget is depleted. But look, well, I mean, it's that's fine because we're only like two days away from the next month. I'm looking forward to seeing you in April, Family Merchant. But no, if anyone else wants to join the channel membership or give a super chat, feel free. Channel memberships are, of course, very important. I'm going all out on them. I want to get as many as I can. Since we're now over 100, I am at currently more channel members than I was at Twitch subs by the time I got suspended. I was on like 100 Twitch subs or maybe 120, and that's roughly where I am on members now, so. I think another thing about channel memberships is that they're more decentralized. My Twitch subscriptions always relied heavily on like a handful of individual people who gifted massive amounts. But YouTube channel memberships are more spread out. More individuals are willing to be channel members because it gives nice benefits, I guess. And that's the th that was the thing. Like Twitch subbing is all volatile just because of the gifting system. One or two people can carry your whole Twitch sub kind of friendly merchant. I thought your, I thought your budget was out. I thought your budget was out. Thank you so much for gifting a membership. I think we're all out of sync. Forty k. Well, the whole Warhammer stuff, forty k or whatever. That's something I've never gotten into in any shape or form. Haven't read anything about that. Haven't played the games. Haven't uh, watched a lore dump video. I know absolutely nothing about Warhammer. Haven't played any of the Total Wars of it either. Absolutely nothing. And I don't know if I'm missing out or not. I, I just don't know. I don't think I'm missing out. I don't know what that is, Nasty. Is that another big... Uh, fantasy series that's for oh that's 40k yeah okay but as for streams and stuff by the way uh no victoria to scandinavia stream tomorrow 
but there may be a different one. There may be a World War One session to kill the time until we can get our session three next week. And then after that, I want to do Millennia again. Maybe Monday or Tuesday for Millennia. As always, a benefit of YouTube streaming is that it's easier to plan ahead on a stream because I can set up the notification and people can see it. Well, that's fine, friendly merchant, because that's why the session is being postponed. And you know what? Maybe it works out because loads of people might not have been able to watch the streams because of Easter as well. Maybe. Maybe a lot of people who were into sessions one and two would miss session three. But then they could always catch up on the VOD, couldn't they? On the channel known as the Spud Gun Archives. Well, anyway, I guess we'll wrap up because at the end of the day, I'm trying to do a chatting section and, you know, not that many people chatting. Now, I really love and appreciate the people who are, but it's not sustainable. There's only a couple of years. Oh, and on this VOD, once again, I'll ask VOD viewers to give me feedback on the size of the chat window right there. Is it legible for you? If you're watching on mobile, is it legible? Can you read the chat? If you can't read the chat, then I, I don't want to make the size of the window any bigger, but I want to maybe make it so that fewer chat messages are visible and it's bigger. I don't know. It's, uh, it's a bit difficult. Oh, Friendly Merchant, did you always watch my Twitch streams on the Spudgun Archives? Not on mobile, but on my screen the chat was fine. But... Are you talking about my Twitch streams or this YouTube window? But it, it was unfortunate with this stream with PyChucker not showing up because that kind of threw me for a loop. I was looking forward to him and looking forward to chatting, but he didn't turn up. And I also kind of, I did a boring build. I just decided to go passengers and I just couldn't be bothered going all the way. So it just, unfortunately, wasn't a very good stream. So we'll, we'll just take that and uh, we'll improve next time and do better. A Victoria 2 stream tomorrow, if it's World War 1, will be good. And then a Millennia stream will be very fun. So we'll move on from this stream, which wasn't great. But the next couple of streams will be great. A World War 1 session, Vic 2, will be crazy and fun. They always are a bit of a shit show as well, because uh, there's always the World War One sessions these days are a bit. And there's always arguments and disputes about which side gets which countries and how balanced it is and stuff like that. So that'll be fun, and it'll be probably just the same people from the Scandi series as well playing, or some of them. I think the window you have on screen is a bit small. Yeah, that's my concern as well. I'll need to try and do something about it. Well, anyway, I guess I'll wrap up here. I'll call it. Not the best stream, but it was fine. I still had fun. Um, still had a pretty good time with these people that we played with. And there was a, a war. A fucking war. Zenmos is a bit trolly, though. You know, griefing another player without really... I don't know. When you do these sorts of things and you build a bit of griefing and stuff, it's normally for fun, but he sort of just did it. Anyway, thanks so much, Nat Steak and Friendly Merchant and everyone here. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm looking forward to tomorrow's stream, if there is going to be one. Uh, I'm, not look I'm not looking forward to all the people asking where Scandi. I'm not looking forward to that, I'll admit. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Thanks for the super chats and thanks for the membership gifts. Uh, and shout out to the VOD crew. I'll see you tomorrow, probably, if not next year, millennia. Bye, everyone. <laughs>